What's up guys, SJC back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. I'm finally feeling better. I'll be putting up videos as much as I can now. And uh, today is, what, Wednesday, I think? So we have some new Final Editions in packs. Today's Final Edition Hero is a 97 overall Randall Cobb from the Packers. Uh, but first we're going to go ahead and check out his set and see uh, what cards go into his set. I looked earlier and it looked like three out of the four were still over 50k. So I don't know if just people haven't been on today or... What it is, maybe they haven't been pulling this card, but here's the lowest one, the only one below 50k that I saw. 91 overall, left outside linebacker, Paul Kruger from the Browns. He's 6'4", 86 speed, 91 strength, 91 acceleration, 90 tackle, 87 play rack, 85 block shed, 93 pursuit, and 72 zone coverage. Uh, he led the Browns in sacks and forced fumbles with 11 and 4, respectively. Um, 71 catching, no catching, so not a good card. At this point in the game, that's really, you just need boosted stats, really. Uh, here's Sean Smith, really, a 92 overall corner. He must have insane stats or something, either that or no one's pulling him. He's at s over 50K right now. 6'3", 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 82 awareness, 95 agility, 95 man, 92 zone, 94 plus an 80 play rec. He allowed a low 57% completion rate when throwing in his direction. Uh, finished fourth in the NFL with uh, f 18 PBUs. I don't know what those are, but... Uh, Maybe pass block or something. Uh, he probably has pretty good catching. 76 catching, so better than the linebacker. Still not that great, though. For a 92 overall, it might be pretty good. 93 overall middle linebacker, Rolando McLean from the Cowboys. Uh, going 32K right now. 6'3", 87 speed, 82 awareness. Um, 85 strength, 97 tackle, 92 play rec, 94 block shed, 98 pursuit. That's pretty high. And 77 zone. Uh, he led the Cowboys in total tackles for a loss and finished third on the team in interceptions. So maybe they boosted this guy's uh, uh, catching a little bit. No, 63 catching. you got to boost the catching. Um, Ryan Tannehill, 94 overall. I'm surprised this card's going for so much. 47,000 coins right now. Uh, 6'4", 96 throw power, 95 throw accuracy short, 92 medium, 84 deep. That sucks. 95 play action and 80 elusiveness. He finished with over 4,000 yards, passing 27 touchdowns, and the fourth highest completion percentage in the NFL. So pretty good card actually right there. But uh, we're going to go check out the Randall Cobb and see how much he's going for, what his stats are looking like. I haven't checked him out yet, so I don't know exactly how good his card is. So there's a couple now up here. Oh, what's this John Kuhn? I think that might have been last week. But down near 150K now for Randall Cobb. Uh, 97 overall, 5'10", 96 speed, 90 awareness, 98 catching, 96 elusiveness, 93 spectacular catch, 94 release, 95 route running, and 98 catch in traffic. So it's a pretty good card. Uh, not the tallest, though, which I do like tall receivers. He finished third in the NFL with 12 receiving touchdowns and totaled 91 receptions for over 1,200 yards. So we'll check out some of his other stats. Uh, he's got some pretty decent receiving stats. 90 jumping, 92 kick return. Um, there. Let's see what else he's got. Spectacular catch, 98 catch in traffic, 94 release. It's a pretty good card. I just wish it was a little taller. I mean, I know he's not taller, so can't really do much about it. But it would be nice if uh, to have a taller receiver with those same stats. So we're going to go ahead and open up a 7-pack bundle Maybe pull some of these draft collectibles. I still don't quite know what they're for, but like the team collectibles, I guess you can like get the actual card that they draft or something. I'm not sure, but there we go. We got Marcus Colston. Hopefully we can pull something that goes for a little bit. Davin Joseph, 70 overall right guard. He might go for like 5k or something. We got Melvin Ingram, so nothing in this pack. All right, and we got a draft badge. I still don't quite understand them. Like why are they, why, why do I get so many? Like um, even if I... Okay, there we go. We got whoever the Browns draft. That's pretty good, actually, I think. They, they're high up, right? Aren't they who... That's who... Okay, I think they need a quarterback. So that's Jameis Winston. If he... Uh, Jameis Winston, right? I think that's how you say it. So if they draft him and I can get his gold card, then I can get that elite card. That'd be a pretty nice pull, actually. There we go. So that's not too bad. I uh, got Reggie Bush in this pack. I don't know why they give you so many... Okay, there we go. We got two in a row. We got a Rams one. They don't do too well ever, so they'll probably be high up in the uh, first round. So we might get two decent cards out of this, but they give you too many draft collectibles. I don't understand. Unless you need, like, three for the number one pick or two for the number two. Like, it's there's no reason to give so many. Um, I haven't gotten a team collectible before this, though, so I, I'm kind of excited about that. We got Riley Reef. Haven't pulled an actual elite card yet. 
Um, hopefully we'll be able to. I think this might be our last pack. Nope, we got at least one more as we get Matt Elam. And, all right, we got a Vernon Davis uh, Common Warrior Collectible. Uh, that I think that card came out while I was away. And another draft badge. So that's pretty good. We might be able to get a little bit for that 42-inch uh, vertical. Um, I think this is the last pack. Yeah, this is. So we're going to just go through real slow like this. Hopefully pull an actual elite. Um, I don't think... Ah, oh, come on. Mohamed Sanu. Rising Star. That's not too bad. I'm going to need those eventually. We get another draft badge as well. All right, so we didn't pull too much. Hopefully I'll be able to make back the coins. Um, thanks for watching, though, guys. Uh, check back. I'll definitely be putting up more videos now. I just needed to recover from uh, vacation and everything. But I'm back now. I'll be fine. Um, putting up new videos at least every day. There might be one or two days a week where there's nothing just because there's nothing to like make a video about. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks.